Hello everybody, tis I, the rumpled one. Uh, let's see, today, this video is one of my prepping videos. And I'm going to tell you, I guess, my story about how I became a survivalist, what we now call preppers, and give you a little background on what I did and how I come to do it. Well, I read this book by Robert Ringer, Looking Out for Number One really good book and in that book he talked about a book called how i found freedom in an unfree world by harry brown and another book he uh talked about was the alpha strategy by john pugsley and for some strange reason i can't find my copy maybe i lent it out um another book by uh robert ringer restoring the american dream okay now Reading those books gave me certain ideas, certain thoughts, and I realized that I really do have to look out for number one. I really do have to be prepared. So at the time, I was living back east in Maryland, and I was working for a living. And about 1986, a big company gobbled up the small company I was working for, and so I no longer had a job. But I had made preparations long before. Um, I had, you know, other things going, other income streams. But the important thing is, is that, you know, I took action before it was too late. And that's what you have to do as a survivalist, as a prepper. You have to anticipate, plan, and then take action. So... When the stuff hits the fan, you already know what to do. You've already made your preparations. Well, around 1989, I decided that, you know, living on the East Coast near Ground Zero, Washington, D.C., wasn't the place to be. So I got me a ranch out west, and I moved. And all my friends thought I was crazy until 911. Then they didn't think I was so crazy anymore. So, the thing about these books that uh, I'm telling you about is that in Harry Brown's book, he gives you a checklist. It talks about starting over from zero. Get a blank piece of paper. Write down how you want things to be. Not how they are, not how you think they could be, but how you want them to be. And that gives you something to work towards. The whole thing about prepping, as a good buddy of mine I went to, let's see, junior high, high school with, college, and still stay in touch with him, he, he told me something. In fact, he wrote me a letter, and he said, you know, as a prepper, or as a survivalist, you have to have something called a persuader, and that's the ability to take the meat out of another dog's jaw, because if you don't, they'll be taking it out of your jaw. Now... I'll be getting into some things in, in later videos, more details about what to do, when to do it, how to do it. But I thought you just might like a little background on me. And once again, these books, I uh, suggest them. They're, some of them are probably out of print. Uh, you could probably find some PDFs online. And in the Alpha Strategy, what John Pugsley emphasized, at least what I got out of it, was that you want to get the best value for your dollar. Okay, for example, I had a Jeep Cherokee, still have it. Uh, when I moved, uh, somebody had bought another Jeep, and they wanted to put big tires on it. So I said, uh, what are you doing with the old tires? He goes, oh, you can, I'm, I'm getting rid of them. Um, you know, give me 150, and I'm thinking these are brand new tires, on brand new Jeep rims that will bolt right on my Jeep Cherokee for $125. I went over to the ATM and I snatched it up. I didn't need the tires, but it was a good dollar value. And somewhere down the road, since tires wear out, I knew I would be using those tires. Guess what tires are on my Jeep right now? Those tires. That's just one example. Another example would be something we all use, toilet paper. When it goes on sale, you stock up, and you use that, and you only buy it when it's on sale. And so it's just that type of mindset where you're thinking 
ahead. You're getting the best dollar value. You're preparing. So I think I'll sign off for now and I'll be doing another video soon. Remember, prepping isn't something you do, it's how you live.